Good evening. The Catholic Diocese of Erie has reached a $2 million settlement with a victim who was sexually abused by former priest David Polson. Boston attorney Mitchell Garabedian appearing via Skype at a news conference. His client, who is referred to as John Doe, was not in attendance. Garabedian saying Bishop Troutman allowed Father Polson to continue to interact with children, fully knowing his past record as a pedophile. As for this, the victim in this case, he is now in his 20s. The alleged abuse occurred from 2002 to 2010, over a span of eight years. According to the attorney, Polson befriended the victim and his family before assaulting the boy. Polson currently in prison for two and a half years to 14 years. According to the documents produced dated 2010, Bishop Troutman knew and, and conversed about Father Paulson being a sexual abuser. In the wake of the Diocese of Erie reaching that $2 million settlement, Bishop Lawrence Persico is pushing against, back against some of those allegations made by the attorney during that news conference today. Tierra Braddock joins us now in the control room with more on that story. Tierra. Joe, Bishop Persico says the settlement agreement is fine, but he believes Garabedian didn't have all of his facts straight. Bishop Lawrence Persico speaking out against allegations made by sexual abuse attorney Mitchell Garabedian. He made sweeping allegations that were not factually backed up. Garabedian claimed that Bishop Persico and Bishop Donald Troutman knew about former priest David Polson's alleged abuse but continued to keep Polson's history out of the public. Bishop Persico refuting those claims, saying that the Diocese of Erie had no knowledge of the case involving John Doe until January 26, 2018. I think if you go to our press release as well as the copy of the settlement agreement, which he signed off on, there's a factual um, outline of what transpired for that particular settlement. Bishop Persico adding that he doesn't know where Garabedian got the idea that he hasn't done anything for sexually abused victims. You check with media, you go on our website, it's all there to be seen. We've been releasing statements since April of 2018, and it's all there. As far as more communication with Garabedian, Bishop Persico says he doesn't think that the Boston attorney is interested in clearing up anything with the Diocese of Erie. And you can see a full statement from the Diocese of Erie regarding the situa situation on our website at yourerie.com. Jill. Okay, Tara, thank you. Meantime, victims of sexual abuse in Pennsylvania can bring a lawsuit against their attackers until they're 50 years of age under the current statute of limitations. Now, last year, a bill that would open a two-year window for victims over the age of 50 to bring civil suits for their abuse passed in the Pennsylvania House, but stalled late in the year in the Senate. This after the recommendations for just such a law from Pennsylvania Attorney General General Josh Shapiro after the release of the grand jury report on predator priests in Pennsylvania. There has been no public movement or talk of the bill in the Senate since. Today, State Senator Dan Laughlin shared his thoughts. Well, I would, I would like to get this uh, resolved and 